guys welcome welcome back to my channel i ask that you like this video as it helps my channel a lot it helps put this channel in the algorithm which would help my channel to grow and if you have not subscribed feel free and it's free okay thanks for the support so rapper foxy brown recently addressed rumors about her relationship with jay-z some rumors claim Jay-Z groomed her sexually when she was 15. These rumors came up again after Diddy was arrested on SEX trafficking and other charges. Well, over the weekend, Foxy responded to another rumor on Instagram, denying claims that Jay-Z forced her to sign a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, you know, that ends in 2025. She wrote, miss me with the fake news, NDA, and a MF Alive could stop my story. Okay, so she responded to this. Someone said, Jay-Z spot about to be blown up soon. Once Foxy NDA is over in 2025, baby, she's singing. I feel like Rock Nation is almost done. That's why Nicki is so comfortable talking like this. Talking about Nicki Minaj. So Foxy replied, an icon business. Miss me with the fake news, NDA, and a MF Alive could stop my story. NDA on my ish, gonna run a hundred mil. First of all, Foxy is way too old to be typing like this. What is this? So if you don't understand what she's saying, she's saying that this person is in her business. She's saying... For this person to miss her with the fake news, meaning she want the person to not come to her with whatever BS that they are talking about. And she said, there's no one that's alive that would be able to stop her from telling her story. If there was an NDA, it would cost a hundred dollars. I mean, a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. A hundred million if there was an NDA, but no one would be able to stop her from telling her story. She also said that people, YouTubers, need to stop playing with her name. People are desperate for her to comment. She said people cannot spin her with the sucker-ish to take down Jay-Z. She said people better ask about the cloth that she's cut from. Then she replied to a comment that said, Foxy, when you speak, it's over. Stay protected too. She wrote, y'all want me to be anti-Hove, anti-Jay-Z. So bad. F out of here. Post that. She posted what someone wrote. They said, I don't know if you can comprehend because that's not what it gave. In other words, she said, you and them are an icon business with fake news. And Foxy replied to it, love me a sharp mother effer. Then she posted what someone wrote. They want Foxy Brown to be anti-Hove so bad. Hove is Jay-Z's other rap name. Hova, Jehovah. Yeah, so they want Foxy Brown to be anti-Hove, Jay-Z so bad. It's never going to happen. She is cut from a different cloth. And Foxy Brown replied, good night with a laughing emoji. And then Foxy wrote this, comprehension is a lost art. She also shared a post honoring Russell Simmons, despite the sexual assault allegations against him. She wrote, Dear Russell, being your first protege was one of the greatest joys of my life. We had the biggest bidding war in hip-hop history, but they really never stood a chance. I knew I had chosen the best. Your kind soul is a rarity in this industry. Baby C is so lucky to have you as a godfather. Funny story is you bringing Angela Simmons 
and I to your fave yoga spot in the city and had us standing on our heads. Ha! I've never felt so free though. Thank you for that healing gift. Happy belated birthday to one of the greatest men I know. I will always have your back for life. You hear this? So, Foxy Brown released her debut album, Il Nana, in 1996, featuring the hit song, I'll Be, with Jay-Z. After leaving Def Jam in 2003, her album, Il Nana 2, The Fever, was canceled. Jay-Z later signed her back to Def Jam for another album, Black Roses, which was never released. Rumors spread about her mental health due to the lack of new music. Now, ask yourself, how is Foxy getting money? There has never been reports about Foxy having financial issues. Little Kim have had reports about her financial troubles, but not Foxy. So who is funding her? How is Foxy staying afloat? Somebody's paying her. Somebody wrote her a check. Gotta be because we all know about Jay-Z and Foxy and how old she was when she came out. Okay, she was very young. She was, what, 16, 15, 16? And the rumors were like, you know, so Jay-Z, just like Diddy, they like to sample the women. They like to sleep with the women that they work with, that they surround themselves with, that you see them around. They all do that. So it's safe to say that Foxy Brown will never expose Jay-Z. I mean, look at it. She's... She's giving shout out and she's praising Russell Simmons, this deviant loser who ran to Bali to escape his legal troubles. Okay? He's a predator as well, Russell Simmons, but he ran to Bali and she's praising this guy. So it's safe to say she will never expose Jay Z. It's safe to say Jay Z is probably funding her paying her bills. That's why she's so loyal to Jay-Z. Because there's been whispers. Even Nas mentioned that in his song, Ether. He said, what is, what is the thing? He said, Foxy got you hot because you kept your face in her P-U-S-S. Okay? So, Foxy is full of ish. She really is full of ish because there's been tons of whispers of their relationship and how he used to beat on her too. He's one of he's the reason why she's like half deaf in one ear. Listen, Jay Z is going down with Foxy help or without Foxy help. Regardless, he's going down. So no one should take Foxy's word when it comes to these predators, because look who she's praising, Russell Simmons, okay? Look who she's loyal to, Jay-Z, another monster. So, yeah. So, we don't, we don't care what Foxy have to say about that, because a lot of people know the truth, and there's been a lot of stories, a lot of whispers. So, I don't know. But the fact that she's praising Russell Simmons, that tells me everything that I need to know. She is not going to tell on anyone. Someone is paying her bills. So that's pretty sad. A lot of these women, they come into this industry. They come, they come to the industry and they feel like, Everything that they went through, all the abuse, they feel like it's the norm. They feel like without these people, they wouldn't be where they are. So that's why they are forever loyal to these people. So, I don't know, but Foxy is very disappointing. Because, I mean, Russell Simmons, yuck. Jay-Z, come on. We know. So, that's all you guys. 
Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.